check this out. There's a minecart in the mob system. I didn't put it in there. I think it was when we were doing the the chunk unloading tests with the minecarts. Somehow it fell down. Off the track or something. I don't know. That's crazy. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of our Let's Play series. How you doing today? Uh, I was trying to decide what we're going to do here. And I just took a little walk around. We might end up doing some smaller projects today. I'm not sure. Like, there's a lot of little things in our world. Like, look at this, for example, that uh, needs some attention. We do these big projects quite often, and then there's all these little details that don't get worked out later. Because that's just the way I am. <laughs> so maybe uh, we'll, we'll tackle a few of those today, such as this little issue here. So... I've actually been afraid to touch this because as soon as I break this fence and, and stuff, there's a chance I mess up somewhere and then zombies are going to get into the village and kill them all. I don't know. You have to be really careful when you start breaking torches and adjusting things with your villages. But uh, maybe we'll lay down some grass here, put up a fence here, make a couple changes, try to make it look nicer. All right, very cool, guys. So I just did a little bit here. I haven't even done much, and it already feels so much better. <laughs> like, you got a smooth transition now, nice and open here. Walk down into the village. It's pretty smooth. Uh, there's an area, like a big area down there. I'm going to leave a fence here so you can view down there so that if we ever do add something, uh, it should look pretty cool. And we might add, like, a, a spiral staircase going down and then to the right here to connect to that. Uh, if we if we expand out that way eventually. Got a fence over here to look down there. We should also... Can we protect it a little bit better? Because a zombie could get over that easy. Let's make this go up to... Oh, I cannot... <laughs> I cannot aim properly, it seems. Make that go up to there. How's that look? Sure, why not? And then let's do a little something like that, I guess. Actually, let's get rid of this totally. Uh-huh. A little baby zombie will fit through that, no problem. Okay, so I had an idea. Like, before we had a fence kind of blocking zombies from getting into the village over here. We're going to try to keep it open like it is right now. Uh, what I've got is a villager sort of uh, caught over here. I'm going to try to move him back one more without killing him. <laughs> uh, he's going to be like a villager sentry, so if a zombie should ever come down the stairs here, which they do occasionally, and before they were caught my fence, but if they come down here, I think they'll focus on this guy first, and that should protect the rest of the villagers, because they won't be able to get him. They'll just stare at him. Um, and then if we put some way of killing them, like a magma block down below there. The other villagers shouldn't walk down into here, but the zombies, I think, will as they try to get the villager. Hopefully. That's my thought, anyway. I'm going to test that out. So as I come down the stairs here, this feels pretty cramped. I'm going to maybe open this up. Mm, like all this. Open up a big space here. Maybe plant a little tree or something. Um, that way it's not so claustrophobic. Okay, here we go, guys. I finally got a zombie to spawn here. I've been waiting for this. I'm going to try to get far enough away that he'll switch targets and see if he goes after the villager. Hopefully this works. Uh, I've been doing a little bit more building here. You can see we got bushes and stuff. Is he going to make his way over here? I can't get too close, so otherwise he's going to go after me. But, like, he should see that librarian before he sees me. It, oh. Um, is he after me? Or did he... No, he picked a different villager. No. Darn it. <laughs> okay, it's not working. It's not working. Oh, that sucks. So he was after one of these guys, I guess, uh, when he switched. He didn't go after the closest target here, like I thought he would. Maybe I gotta... Maybe because he's blocked off. Or let's just get rid of... Let's just fill this in for right now. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, who's he going to go after? 
He's deciding. He went after the right one. No. Wait, did he see me again? Oh, he's going after... Oh, he's going after the iron golem. No. Who is he after? <laughs> I can't tell. I think he's after me. Ah, oh, darn it. He's after me. Uh, now, I reloaded my game and everything. Like, reloaded the world so that he'd lose, lose me as his targets. But he seems to prefer me over the villagers. So I can't really test this, actually. All right, everybody. So I think we're about done with this now. I got finished up with the building and the decorating. And I even did the lighting here. You see, I got rid of all the torches. So we hid lighting in the leaves here. Uh, I like to go one block below the surface. So you can see underneath this leaf block is another leaf block and then the glowstone. Uh, I think that hides the lighting a lot better. So otherwise, it's, it's really easy to see it. Um, and as far as this guy goes, I'm going to try it like this. Like, it seemed like the zombie was going after him, and then he saw me when I was over there. And then he switched targets. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try it like this. And if I come back one day and all the villagers are dead, well then... <laughs> it's pretty obvious it doesn't work like I want it to. And then we will have a problem. Uh, but yeah, anyways. So I think this looks pretty decent. Just some random logs and leaves and stuff. Uh, I decided to use red brick here for like the structural stuff and even in the village here this used to be stone brick I switched over to red brick just to add more color I think it looks good and uh, we will move on now to something else let's do another little project oh yeah they were uh, they were getting back like they were standing on the stone block and then on the fence and then falling here so I added one more fence to hopefully Stop their pathfinding from doing that. And if they try to walk here, they can't. Yeah, that should be good now. So he goes down. Let's add a piece of string here too so this vine doesn't grow there. It'll look better. Okay, so next up on our list, guys, we're going to head over to Wilson. A long time ago, I asked you guys, like, what, what would you add to Wilson? You told me, and then I never did it. <laughs> So I, I haven't forgotten what you said, though. So I, today we'll do it here. Uh, I got the stuff ready to go. Okay, and I'm going to do one other thing here, too. Or a couple other things, actually. Let's grab our, our goodies here. Yeah, so I don't like all the pink here with Wilson. So I'm going to get rid of the floor, this pink floor, and try out the bone blocks. Nice cheap alternate to quartz. And we're going to try hide some lighting in here, too. So that's what I made the red glass for. Let's just see how this would look. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. And can we hide lighting here is my question. So if we put it like a sea lantern, red glass, does that blend in enough? Yeah, I think we could get away with that. So otherwise, I gotta have torches here somehow, and that's that's not gonna look good. All right, so there we go. We got the floor switched out to the bone blocks now. I do like that uh, a lot more than the pink clay. Uh, still, should probably add some texture to it though, like some something else mixed in with it. I'm not sure what yet though. <laughs> we'll leave it like that for today now. Uh, these, I don't know. Still not. Like I would rather not have them, but we kind of have to have them. Does it look better if we cover them with red? Carpets. Yeah, that stands out too. <laughs> Darn it. There's not really anything to do about that, I guess. Alright, anyways, let's move on to your number one most requested Wilson feature. So this is what you guys wanted. Uh, right now, Wilson can eat three different things. He can eat cookies, which give him a little bit of food, a little bit of happiness, and also makes him fatter, adds on to his weight. Uh, you can give him steak, which adds a lot of food, no happiness, just a little bit on his weight. Or you can give him golden apples, and that's his medicine. If he ever gets sick, it cures him. If Wilson gets sick, he'll he'll die very quickly if you don't treat him. Uh, but the other thing is, you can also throw garbage at Wilson. <laughs> and, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll break that for right now. If you throw him garbage, nothing happens. So your guys' re most requested feature was that I make him get sick if I throw him some garbage items. So let's do that. That's a really simple thing to add here. So, 
yeah, garbage items go into this hopper at the very end and into this chest as yeah, storage. Whoa. That keeps happening. It's like I go out of the speed two and then I the camera switches and it's making me feel sick. <laughs> I don't know. I think I changed the location of some beacons or something. I, I'm not sure what's happening. All right, so now anytime uh, we throw... Oh, I didn't see it. Did that light up? It did not light up. Oh, I didn't throw it in. Yeah, it lit up. Okay, good. So what we'll do is detect whenever an item goes in there. Uh, send it to a repeater so it can carry on the signal. Or actually, let's go up one block and do that. We have to get this wire to connect up over to there. <laughs> I ran a, a wire to his uh, sickness control, and that's that's where we got to get to here. Okay, so the wiring is a little bit on the messy side here, but it's the only way it's going to work. <laughs> Basically, it goes from here, from the garbage detection, and goes up here, up a staircase, and let's enter Pearl up to that other spot. You can get it. Oh, just cleared it. Sweet. Yeah, so it comes up here then, uh, up over to here. So it merges together with this thing. Uh, this is what randomly controls when Wilson gets sick. So based on his health, the lower that his health is, the more likely he is to get sick. And uh, now he's got two methods of getting sick, because they both join together here. And basically, if the redstone block is over here, this is an RS Norlatch, then he is not sick. And if it's over there, he is sick. So this just pushes that redstone block over. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah. So let's go check it out. <laughs> I fired up Wilson. He's running right now. Do some testing on him. And yeah, he's in a happy mood still. Very good. So let's give him, let's give him some grass. There you go, Wilson. Still happy? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, something's not right. I got 38 grass on me. Did it get stuck here somewhere? Oh, it did. Darn it. Hmm. I picked up the grass block, so it didn't get sent through some for some reason there. Oh! So why... Yeah, so that aligns it to this edge. Oh, I think it worked that time. I heard it. Yeah, he's sick right now. Okay. So if we feed him a golden apple, that should cure it. We recently re redid his feeding thing here. Yeah, that worked. Okay. I think items are getting stuck somewhere, though. On the hoppers. No, that one went through. Okay. Cool. So he's sick again. Yep, so I think that's doing what we wanted to do here, and one more feature added to our buddy Wilson. <laughs> At your guys' request, I'm going to try to keep him alive here. I think the next feature I want to add is a reset button for him, so like, we press a button, his age goes back down to zero, health goes up to five, food up to five, weight to three, health to five, because um, right now to reset Wilson it's kind of a pain. This thing takes a long time to open. <laughs> All right, this is going to top off his food before we leave. Or is that only going to get it to four? Oh, it did get to five. Okay, good. So he's he's pretty happy right now. He's overweight, though, right now. Should be at three lights, ideally. Uh, but yeah, we're going to move on to another project now. A uh, long time ago... Actually, let's go check this out first. <laughs> uh, we built this firework machine, which... It's actually a really neat thing. Uh, I almost want to make another one of these more complicated, but uh, we never even got this first one working the way I want it to. So let's let's finish it off here today if we can. But basically, we have a randomizer that we just saw there. And if we stand underneath the drop zone here, uh, let's unload a few items as well before we do this. Because I think it gives us a lot of stuff. Yeah, stand underneath here. To get it going, you just press the button here. And it randomly dispenses uh, various ingredients to make a fireworks star here. So different colors, different uh, modifiers. And the idea is you keep your hot bar clean here. So then it 
you add them all together, you get your fireworks start, you throw it into the hopper, randomly gives you more ingredients, and you just keep doing the same thing. Oh, I forgot to use it green. <laughs> uh huh. So that works really good, actually. I'm, I'm happy with that. But we never. Uh, oh, okay, I'm going to stop doing it now. We never finished the second part of this, because once you get the fireworks star, uh, that is not the only part of making fireworks. You then take the star, and you have to combine it with paper and gunpowder to to make the firework now. So it's one paper, one firework star, and either one, two, or three gunpowder. The more gunpowder you add, the, the farther it will fly up in the sky. Um, and it's a good thing we never did finish this because I don't know if you guys know this, but they actually changed it recently where you get three fireworks instead of just one. Three for one. Amazing value. <laughs> so if we built this previously, it probably wouldn't work today. Uh huh. Actually, just to wait a second here. I forgot you can actually combine more than one uh, fireworks star together, can't you? Let's just double check that. Or am I imagining that? No, you can have more than one. I think you can have up to five, maybe more if you get rid of the gunpowder. Oh, you can. Oh, man. Seven stars. I don't even remember what that does. Does it make seven different explosions? Oh, it does. Oh. <laughs> All right. That is a little crazy, isn't it? Um... Well, that kind of changes my plan here. <laughs> All right. Um, I think what we'll do... I was going to have three controls. If this... Like, we're guaranteed we need one gunpowder at least to make the, the firework, right? I was going to do it so that if this is down, then you get do two gunpowder. If this is down, you get three gunpowder. Or if this is up and this is down, you only get two. And then this is going to be a randomizer option. So between one and three gunpowder, if that's down. And I guess maybe we'll randomize how many stars we get to. Hmm. Like, we don't have a lot of space to build this, honestly. <laughs> um, yes. Let me prepare this area, and then we'll figure out what we're doing exactly. What's behind here? Like, how much space? Looks like there's space. Uh-oh. Did I break something? What What is back here? Oh, I broke something now. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about uh, working around the man cave. There's always redstone. Like, everywhere. You have to be so careful. You know, this is actually a really good opportunity here for me to step outside of my comfort zone with redstone. Like, I, I have a certain number of circuits I use all the time, and I don't, like, diverge from that too often. Something I very rarely use is uh, these item frames, actually. So this is a good uh, good uh, place to use it, I would, I would think, because you could have... One star, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, six stars, seven stars, eight stars. You can have a nice selector panel that way. Um, and depending on how that's rotated, it affects how far the signal goes here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back to one. All right. So somehow we need to make a circuit here so that if it's at one, it shoots one item out of the dropper. If it's at two, it shoots two stars, three three stars. How do we do that? I'm not sure. I'll try to figure it out. Awesome. So I got it figured out here, guys, and it's actually fairly simple. You can see the whole thing flat out on the ground here. Uh, not really much to it. The key to this is the comparator clock. So depending on how long that gets powered for, it affects how many items get shot out, right? So all you got to do is make it uh, stay powered longer the further out the signal goes here. And you can do that just by adding more and more repeaters as it goes on further. So I want this to activate by a pulse, like by a button press sort of thing. And that makes this piston extend. Here, let's just break this for right now. But yeah, it makes the piston extend for a short amount of time and then retracts. I got a monostable circuit here. So it doesn't stay uh, stay out for very long. And basically, this is sending out the signal here. So every time the block goes in front, it uh, sends out a pulse to all these repeaters. 
So let's let's give it a try here. So this is one. And it shot out one. Very cool. This is two. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't switch it. <laughs> I I right clicked it, but it didn't work. So we got three that time. Four. One, two, three, four. Five. And you get the point. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't think I need to go beyond five. Um, I don't want more than fire, five firework stars. That's hard to say. So this is eight, seven, six. So up to five is only this big. So it's going to be a pretty small circuit, really. Okay, guys. So uh, it's probably been about an hour now I've been setting this up. And it seemed like a simple idea, but it's gotten a little bit crazy. Um, but it's just about at the point where we can try it out here. So I got rid of the whole random idea just because we don't really have the space here. I ran into three projects, three redstone projects while building this. There's something over here. There was a door over there and also a wheat farm. My mini farm is right over there. <laughs> so yeah, I decided just to, to get rid of the random aspect of the whole control panel here because that would add a lot more to it. So basically, if that's down, it adds an extra gunpowder. If that's down, it adds an extra gunpowder. So both are down, that adds three in total. Um, and then this is our selector for how many firework stars we want to include in our recipe. So we're basically choosing everything here. Uh, and there's five, dis five droppers, not dispensers. So one of them's gonna have gunpowder in that always gets dispensed, these two, it's optional and then these are our fireworks stars in that one and the paper in this one I'm just gonna manually refill these because it'll probably last quite a while and to get those to us I was gonna set up a water stream here probably you can see when I flip the lever it makes the piston extend over there same with over there so basically if it's extended the block is forward here and then the repeaters can send, send the signal into the block and up into the droppers here. That's how that works. And a lot of this is kind of crazy. This is the... Yeah, this is the selector thing with the item frame that we saw before. It's kind of messed up looking <laughs> as I tried to make it fit here. And... Uh, yeah, this probably looks like a jumbled mess. That's basically what it is. It's a little hard to see anything specific here. Um, same kind of deal we did over there. We got a button to start it. And as we throw the fireworks into the hopper, it should keep the chain going. So we'll get more and more fireworks stars and stuff. Um, yeah, access the fireworks there. We have a detector here. Whenever we throw a firework in, it'll send the signal out. Or when we press a button here, you can see... Oh, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> you can see it goes down into here. Modern stable circuit and yada yada yada. All right. Anyways, let's try this out. Oh yeah, item elevator here. So the this is actually pretty important. I should show this from here. I think I can figure out how to see it again. Uh oh, I just put some garbage into this the system. Oh, <laughs> so you hear that clicking? That's the item elevator. So this sends the stars down this hopper chain into an item elevator here. If there's any items in here, it activates this circuit, which which sends them up the to the top there to that chest, and then they get funneled into that uh, dropper we saw before. So I was originally planning on sending the items uh, through the half slab here in the middle, but I didn't think this through. I guess I got the hopper down here now, <laughs> so it's just going to send the items into the hopper if I do that. Maybe I'll put it off to the side or something. So. Let's try this out. I'm just going to do do it like this, probably. And encase this. Like a so. Alright, make sure the water doesn't spill into the redstone. If it does, I will lose my mind. Because I don't want to do this again. Alright, do something like that. And like that. That should work. So I'm going to put my water bucket right here. I did this right, right? <laughs> Double check. Okay. I hate putting water next to redstone, but it has to be done sometimes. I'll cover this up so the droppers don't shoot the items out over, over the edge or something like that. 
one star right now and one gunpowder. Let's see if that's what we get. <laughs> I should put some some kind of floor there, maybe. Hmm? That's an idea. All right, let's do that. So what did we get? We got one star, one gunpowder. Why didn't I get my paper and stuff? That is what I'm wondering. All right, very good. We got this fixed up, I think. I made the mistake of thinking this comparator wire was turning on all the way every time. <laughs> and in reality, if we only have one star selected, it's only going to reach up to here, two stars up to here, three stars up to here. Um, and I had some stuff hooked up to it, like my gunpowder for the for making the fireworks and the paper was hooked up to it. So that was not getting activated unless I had it set to five stars or more. All right. Anyways, I think this is all good now. I am trapped. There we go. <laughs> Let's start off with the fireworks stars once again, just to make sure this is all good. Just make a couple here. All right. And it was running low too, I saw. So do that. We should hear a bunch of clicking from the item elevator being activated. Yeah. So those are going right up into the dropper. I don't have to manually load those. Because that would be a pain. Because <laughs> they don't stack, really, unless you get lucky and they happen to have the exact same uh, ingredients. All right. Anyways, that's probably good. Do one more here. Oh. Invalid star, really? Oh, because I had two modifiers. Interesting. Okay, that might be a little mistake with the system. So, if we have it set to one star, one gunpowder, we should get one paper as well. There we go. We got it. Cool. And pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right, uh, let's try two stars, two gunpowder. And we'll also try out the... Yeah, we got two gunpowder, two stars. Oh, I can't do it in there. I got to use the crafting table now. We'll try out the hopper system here too. So once we craft this, we should be able to hold... Uh, control Q to throw it. Yeah, I don't even have to drag it out of there. So that's cool. Only problem is I can't like hotkey the gunpowder because it stacks. But yeah, this is definitely working. That's that's sweet. All right, let's try. I'm probably running low on stars. <laughs> um, oh, I wasn't. I didn't want to do another one. All right, let's let's make this last one here, and then we'll up it to. Here, let's just do them off here. Cool. Let's do maximum stars. Five stars is what I got. And three gunpowder. Let's make sure it works. Oh, it's going to fill up my inventory, isn't it? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Good. Three gunpowder. Good. And one paper. Perfect. So that's what it's supposed to do. And there we go. It's almost a fully automatic uh, fireworks station now. So that's. That's really cool. Uh, what I would like to do beyond this is hook up a, a storage minecart to bring the fireworks from here to our firework display at the lake. That way I don't have to fill that even. That would be really neat. And it has just occurred to me that in that hour of building, I did not check on Wilson even once. <laughs> so he's dead. Let's check out the comment of the day. It says, hey, Etho. You like tongue twisters? Well, here's some. Okay, guys, here we go. Here we go. Number one. The sixth sick shepherd, sixth sheep sick. I can't say that one fast. The sixth sick shepherd's sixth sheep sick. There we go. Number two. I wish I washed my Irish wrist watch. I wish I washed my Irish wrist watch. I wish I washed my Irish wish. That, that, that. <laughs> Thank you. Eroth. Eros. Eroths. Alright, very good. I'm I'm good at saying things. I approve of anyone that starts their name with an E. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any ideas or suggestions or plans for future projects, things you want to see, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.